Apparently, goldfish may be able to do more than we first thought. Scientists want to know if they can drive. CBS 2's Ian Lee has more. It might sound like a fish tale, but scientists in Israel are sending goldfish where none have gone before. Fish don't drive cars, so we had to train them. You heard him right. Training goldfish to drive a car. Well, technically a tank. This fish out of water got an intensive training course before being thrown into the deep end. The fish understands that it needs to find the target and drive that vehicle towards that target. Every time it gets to the target, uh, we award it with a food pellet. Sensors on this, let's call it a reverse submarine, help the fish stay on course. If this all seems a little fishy, you're not alone. This summer, the fish and the furious. The late show with Stephen Colbert lampooned the research, but scientists say this is a serious study, proving fish can navigate on land just as well as in water. Fish, even though they are embedded in a terrestrial environment, can make excellent navigational decisions. Most goldfish pass the driving test in a few days, showing they may be more sophisticated than we thought. Ian Lee, CBS News. You know, every now and then we run these stories where, are they messing with us? <laughs> but it makes sense. Have you seen the way they can move around in the water? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Just to see if we're paying attention. Somebody's punking us. That's right. Could be. We don't know. <laughs> Alternative world.